What's up, Coach? Coach Mendez here with Championship Hoops. Today I got a great video for you. It's a whole game film of our 1-2-2 zone defense. If you haven't already, I suggest that you go and watch our video on how to run the 1-2-2 zone defense. There you'll be able to see some of our undebatables, our rotations, and all of the things that make this 1-2-2 zone defense successful. I chose to use film against an opponent that was really good this past year. At the time, this team was still undefeated and we were about halfway through the season. They really showed us some of the things we needed to work on and you're about to be able to see a full game of this 1-2-2 zone defense. So you'll see the good, the bad, and the ugly. I hope you enjoy. Here we're just running all over the place. We're not letting them catch the ball and shoot. We're trying to run them off the three point line and we end up speeding them up and getting a stop. This team was really good in transition, but here you see us close out on a shooter and get a rebound. This is great transition defense by our team. We're able to get set up and we continue to run towards shooters and make them uncomfortable. I mean, this team got out and ran really well and it really showed us that we needed to work on our transition defense. I mean, you can't ask your players to play any harder than this. My guys are running all over the place. Here we don't get the 50-50 ball. But even at that, we're able to run towards this shooter, make him have to put it on the ground and even though he makes it, it was still a tough shot. Their transition offense was so tough, but that's what you want to do when you play against a zone defense. So that's good coaching on their end. I mean, here we're just working. We rotate well, and my two actually does a great job getting to that corner and contesting this shot, but he just knocks down a tough shot. Our threes did a tremendous job of just running on that baseline this game. And here you can see my three just get out to that corner and get a hand up and contest a shot. See, my favorite part about this play is you're able to see our two drop into the hole and get a body on somebody. And that's just important whenever you're in this zone defense. This team was able to run this set a whole lot against our zone, and it gave us a few problems, and we'll see later how we were able to adjust to it. This is the last possession of the quarter, and you can just see my guys just hopping up and down, trying to get to their spots, trying to contest everything, running shooters off the line, and we actually get a great closeout bar at three in the back to contest his shot and end the quarter. See here, these are back-to-back -back plays where their transition offense just hurts us, and that's what we learned from this game. It was something that we needed to work on and just get better at as a team. This is phenomenal defense by our team. Everybody's running around, everybody's in their spots. I love how our bigs just keep their hands up throughout the possession and we kind of slow down their offense that they got to take a timeout. I 
I mean, here even on his baseline out of bounds play, we stayed in our zone. We just went ahead and dropped our backside th uh, two into the hole already. One of the best things that you have to do as a team is you got to have undebatables. And one of ours is we're not going to watch anybody shoot the ball. Everybody's going to get it. We have to contest the shot no matter what. And you're able to see that on this play. Here's that little quick hitter again that they kept running where they run somebody through the baseline end. My guys did a good job of communicating, but right here we just kind of get mixed up and both guys run to that corner. See, this is great coaching on their end. They keep going to this little quick hitter and they're trying to run this little rub screen where they pin down my... Uh, three on the baseline and they're able to catch it deep and we just kept trying to tell them hey get in front of that guy but it was easier said than done and should we have had film we would have made sure to guard that This is just great defense right here. Right now we've got our one picking up at the volleyball line. Everybody has active hands. We're running shooters off the three point line and off this skip pass, watch our three close out, get over there and contest. What I like about this situation is we're in transition so everybody gets out of place but our undebatables are we don't watch anybody shoot a shot so you're able to see us scramble and still contest.
Here I just really love how my backside 2 drops into the hole, tries to box out, but then as the ball starts to get reversed, he moves up and he sprints to a closeout. appreciate you for watching coach some things that I want to leave you with my team starts to learn a man-to-man -man defense at the beginning of, at the beginning of the season however we will implement different things such as zone defenses and jump defenses the reason why I say that to you is when we saw this particular team they were very set heavy almost every single time that they came down the floor they were running some type of set against a man-to-man -man defense so as soon as me and my assistant coaches saw that, we immediately told ourselves that we were going to be going to a zone defense this whole game. That way, they weren't going to be doing something that they were very comfortable with. And we already knew once we went to this zone defense, they were only going to be able to do a few things, whether it was getting the ball into the nail or the high post or into the short corner and playing that two-man game, and they were going to be looking to shoot a lot of three-point shots. Now, that did happen throughout this game. However, I thought this team did a tremendous job getting out in transition and winning the transition game against us. And that really showed us what we needed to work on going on, going in, in the future. Also, I felt that they had that one set that gave us a lot of problems. Now, this game happened in a tournament. But if this was something that we would have known they were going to do, we definitely would have made, we definitely would have talked about that at practice and probably would have been able to make better adjustments against it. But I feel the difference in this game was their transition offense, and it was also that set play. And those just showed us things that we needed to work on moving forward. I appreciate you for watching, Coach. Please don't forget to like.